LG has always been one of the big phone brands especially in North America but recently things haven't been going great for the company in 2014 LG's smartphone division was enjoying record-breaking sales they were one of the biggest phone manufacturers by global market share and around the same time the company was one of the top three in the United States but sadly it was all downhill from there LG's decline was so drastic the company's market share is now measured with a zero in front of the number so what caused the dreadful collapse and short competition but there's one bigger reason why I think LG is tumbling down on its way to irrelevance and it's the price you see despite posting underwhelming smartphone sales figures one quarter after the other as a result of customers diminishing trust in the brand LG refused to make adjustments in one of the aspects that matter the most price without having anything exciting to offer and differentiate itself from the competition LG could have tried to win over some of its lost user base by offering quality flagship phones at a lower price instead it kept up with the trend of inflating prices without backing them up with cool features that could get people's attention I mean a quad DAC will do more to make someone Google what it means than convince them to buy a smartphone and yeah there's one more reason and it's their branding UCLG decided to slap its smart appliances branding thing to the name of its recent flagship smartphones as well this was meant to signal how your phone will easily work with your LG fridge or washing machine thanks to LG's eye technology instead it only added confusion I mean it's still not even clear how the think brand name is supposed to be pronounced anyway it seems they are learning from their mistakes because today they have announced something brand new for its Android smartphones LG has officially announced the LG velvet the first in a new line of phones that emphasizes design over specs also breaking with its traditional of alphanumeric names for its devices in favor of familiar and expressive names also LG has shown the design sketches of this new phone as you can see the design will be different from LG's other smartphones which includes a raindrop camera design with smaller lenses and a LED flash below the larger main camera which is a departure from the current trend among smartphones to have big camera bumps I really appreciate LG for standing out with a more elegant and different design rather than joining the ridiculous trend of including a big camera abomination at the back LG is also touting a 3D arc design with curved glass on the front and back of the device as well as the new phone's tactile elegance LG explains that the decision to design velvet came from the sea of smartphones that are all essentially the same on the spec sheet while it's obviously not mentioned in the press release this slightly implies that reports of LG's next device using a lower end Snapdragon 765 G could be true which is perfectly fine as long as this device is sub $600 or $700 at max now the question is this going to save LG's mobile division you see right now one key issue is that all phone technology is now pretty good innovation is incremental so if your two year old device is still working perfectly the incentive to fork out a substantial sum for a new but not so much different phone is small certainly much smaller than five years ago when phones improved in leaps and bounds. As a result, pretty much all premium smartphone brands are now struggling LG Sony and HTC's handset units have all failed to turn a profit or see any growth for several years, and it will likely be really tough for them to turn things around unless innovation makes a new leap or there is a shakeup in the industry but I see potential here LG is accepting the fact that they cannot compete with Samsung and Huawei in terms of specs and that's a great thing because like I've mentioned earlier one of the biggest reasons for their failure is they don't have anything exciting to offer and differentiate themselves from the competition and as a result fewer people are willing to pay over $1,000 for an LG device but now they are doing something right something different by offering premium build with upper mid-range specs for an affordable price and I hope this strategy works for them and this LG Velvet marks the beginning of a new era for the South Korean company that said let me know what do you think about this down in the comments and I will always see you on my next video.